All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, which Yahweh's Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh shouts from the world, ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, it's his true name. And Rakakwadash is the Holy Spirit. I'm also going to give uh, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all the brothers out there who push the word in all truth and all sincerity. And, uh, you know, you know, brothers, just um, be ready for the great multitude to come in uh, because we're living in those times, you know. A, a lot of things are, you know, happening right now on this earth. And you're going to start seeing more and more people, all right, uh, uh, you know, on your comment boards. Uh, you're going to see them, you know, show up to uh, camps if you still have them, all right. And, um, you know, people are going to be asking questions because people want answers, all right. A lot of people are, you know, are looking for answers because of, you know, what's going on right now. All right, and we got them through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. You know, and then, um, you know, faith is going to increase, you know, as time uh, uh, progresses, okay? You know, see, you know, certain people in their story and in their lot, they have to see particular miracles uh, occur. They have to see, you know, uh, particular events to occur for them to start believing, you know? And that's just, you know, uh, their lot in this movie, okay? We have to remember that. But, you know, for those who've been teaching and preaching for, you know, uh, for, you know, for this, you know, for all these years, hey, just, you know, uh, remember that that great multitude is about to come and be prepared. Be prepared to start seeing more and more people come, okay? And um, I want to start off with this in Psalms 110 and 3. It says, Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power, and the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning, thou hast the dew of thy youth. And the main point is that thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. That's when a lot of our people are going to, um, you know, seek Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? You know, when things get, you know, rough. When thing, when these calamities hit. And, you know, we're in these, you know, perilous times right now. Things aren't looking good, you know, uh, for here in America. Okay? Life here in America. Things aren't looking good at all. Okay? So we must... Um, be ready for these things, all right? You know? And um, I'm going to hop to uh, Zechariah, I believe it's 8, the 8th uh, chapter. Um, Let me see if it's here. Yep, this is Zechariah 8 and 23, and it reads, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, In those days it shall come to pass, that ten men shall take hold out of all languages of the nations, even shall take hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew, saying, We will go with you, for we have heard um, that the Most High is with you. Okay? And that is coming, all right? That day is coming where, you know, when it says 10 men, that's meaning, that's basically just a, a, a number. It doesn't necessarily have to be 10. Okay? It could be one man. All right? It could be hundreds of men. Who knows? Okay? But these particular... Uh, 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 people, they're going to take hold of us, all right? And they're going to be coming from all nations. You know, that's why in Revelation, the seventh chapter, which we'll get in a moment, it talks about the great multitude that came out of all nations, all right? You know, speaking different languages, so on and so forth. You're going to have the, you know, all these Israelites, whether they look like the typical, all right, Israelite or not, they're going to cleave unto a man of the Lord, okay? And the reason why is because we have Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We have the answers. We have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And they're going to have that faith. And they're going to believe that we are the men of the Lord. And they're going to follow. Okay? Because look, that one third has got to get uh, 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 filled up. And we're going to have to guide these people through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, I've heard this uh, statement all right, from the elder Malcolm out here in Chicago. He said he uh, he uh, has said this multiple times to us. He said, "Look, from the top brother, all right, to the least brother in our camp preaching right now, we are being groomed to be leaders. We are gonna have our own, you know, uh, camps, our our own, um, what do you call that? Uh, basically, followers very soon. And he's been saying that for a few years now. You know, for the, maybe the past two years, he's mentioned it here and there. Okay." And it looks like we're we're uh, entering in, uh, into those times, okay, from the top 
uh, man to, to, to the least. We're about to lead the, uh, the people. Right? Because look, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, he's setting up uh, 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 leaders right now, judges. Okay? To uh, the God of the nation of Israel. Okay? And we got to be prepared for these things. That's why we have to constantly study, fast, okay, pray, meditate. All right, on the things uh, 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 to come, what the scriptures say. All right, I want to get um, Revelation the seventh chapter. We'll probably end it off with with this. Um, you know, uh, try to keep this lesson short, straight to the point. Um, I'm gonna read the first four verses, and then we're gonna hop down to the ninth verse. Okay. Um, All right, this is uh, Revelation chapter 7, verse, I'll start at 1. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud, loud, um, loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Her not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed a hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. So the hundred and forty-four thousand, that's the uh, governing body. That's the top of the, uh, 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 that's the top tier, okay? All right? Of the nation of Israel. The ones that are going to guide, all right, you know, the people. Now I'm going to go down to the ninth verse here. It says, After this I beheld and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. Okay? And this is the one-third. Okay? You know, the, 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 the followers and believers. You know, the men, women, and children. Okay? That are a part of the uh, one-third. All right? And there's going to be a lot. See, we always talk about the two-third being a, a, a large number, which it is, no doubt about it. But the one-third as well is a large number. It's not as uh, great as the two-thirds, but one-third is still a very great number. When you, uh, uh, um, you know, when you uh, uh, add up all, all the children of Israel, okay? And it says in the scriptures that we're the sand of the sea. You know, we, we, uh, we're the greatest nation on this planet. We're going to have uh, uh, our, uh, you know, uh, Israelites, you know, our brothers and sisters from all, all these nations, you know, uh, uh, cleave unto, the, you know, the one third. They're going to cleave unto the men of the Lord, man, and what they're saying. All right. Doesn't matter how they look. Okay. Verse 10. And cry with, cry with the, uh, cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our power, which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. And all the angels stood round about the throne and about the elders and the four beasts, and fell before the throne on their faces, and worshipped the Most High, saying, Amen, blessing, and glory, and honor, and thanksgiving, and, and power, and might be unto our power forever and ever. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes? And whence came they? And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are they which came out of the great tribulation, and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. All right. You see, these um uh, these people, all right, they're a part of the elect of the nation of Israel. They're the ones that uh, got out of this great tribulation that's coming. They're the ones that washed their robes, meaning they purified themselves. And how did they do that? All right, through the blood of the Lamb, believing in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, returning unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And, and practicing the righteous uh, acts, okay? And, and first and foremost, believing, all right? You see? You know, these, these things are coming, all right? So, you know, that's pretty much it. And, uh, yeah, I can, you know, just be ready for, you know, more and more people to come up, you know, uh, to, to your camps, asking questions, you know, uh, 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 believing, following you, you know, uh, for, be prepared to see more comments, you know, on your, you know, live stream, on your videos, all right? These things are, are coming to pass as we speak. And, you know, we just got to, you know, uh, be prepared, you know, spiritually, mentally, 
You know, we just got to uh, pray to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh to, you know, guide, you know, the people in the right direction. And that, you know, we don't uh, uh, fail and stumble. All right. And with that, I'm going to give all praise, and honor, glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom.